Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a kaleidoscope effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Essentially, it just looks like this. It's fun, and with motion and stuff, it, it comes across really, really cool. So let's get started. First thing I did was I imported some footage. So I have this footage called Beach. I got it from my course. Uh, if you would like to learn Premiere with a tutorial-based method, check out the link in the description below. Once the video is here, we're going to click on the video, and then we're going to go over here to Scale in our Effect Controls, and we're going to shift this down to 50. Once it's at 50, we then need to do, uh, we need to duplicate it four different times. Now, before we do that, with this video, I'm going to go to the anchor point, and I'm going to set the anchor point to 0, 0. There's a reason for this, and it'll make our lives a little easier in the future. We're going to then duplicate the footage four times. So you can hit Control C, Control V, or you can just hold the Alt key and just drag up, and it'll create four copies. Now, with our first copy on the bottom, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take that and move it to the top left over here. Now, to do that, since we set the anchor point to 0, 0, which is right here, we can actually just set the position of this to 0, 0 as well. And it will jump up to there. Now, we want the second one to jump to this left side. Since the anchor point is 0, 0, we can just set this first value, the 960, to 0 as well. And if you'll see, the numbers are actually already here uh, for all of the math that we have to do. So that I, for example, the next one, what we want to do is we want to set it up here, which means we need to zero out the 540. And now we have four perfect copies all across. Otherwise, you have to drag them yourself. And since we're, they're 50%, this will be pixel perfect. So if you're one pixel off, you get a line of black on the right. It's, it's a pain. So doing it this mathematical way will ensure that that doesn't happen. Your next thing that you're going to do is you're going to flip the videos. So in this situation, search flip for effects, go down to transform, and we have horizontal and vertical. So for the two on the left, which are our first two ones, what we want to do is we want to horizontally flip them. And then for the ones on the top, we want to vertically fit, flip them. So that would be, you may have to click right here to figure out which one. Our first one was a top one, so we vertically flip that. And then the, let's see, I think the third one, our third one, yes, is this top right one. So we can vertically flip that one as well. And with these flips in place, all of them join in at the center and you get the kaleidoscope effect. A pretty simple effect, but it can cause some really, really cool uh, sort of transitional things, or you could use it in, for example, a vlog or something like that. Really fun. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you would like to learn more about Premiere Pro in a tutorial-based manner, meaning that instead of reading about it in a book, you would develop a skill per tutorial, and you'd actually learn a ton of different effects, check out the course in the link below. It's a course that I personally created, and I think it's a really powerful Premiere Pro learning tool. Thanks, everyone. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button. I make a video every other week, or at least I try. And until next time, guys, see ya.